Hi everybody and welcome back. So today I will give you the update that I promised since I've been back in Korea. So I will talk about what I've been doing and what I'm planning to do as well. So to start off, I got here in Korea one month ago, like almost, yeah, almost exactly one month ago I arrived here and it's been pretty busy since then because I signed up for Korean classes so I'm going there two times a week uh, for like half a day and then I'm also signed up for the TEFL course which is to teach uh, outside of your own country and also we just moved house one week ago so almost one week ago now we moved house and that was a lot of work for us to do as well so I was pretty exhausted from that too and then the other thing is um, I am applying for jobs right now as well like not applying I'm just looking for jobs and kind of trying out some jobs as well if I do get the chance and it just happens that this week I am actually gonna go try out for a, a teaching job so well not really teaching teaching but um if it's official i will explain to you what it is eventually because of that it's been very very busy for me and i haven't had that much free time when i did have free time i did play games and i did watch anime like the seasonals and also older anime that i started watching not too long ago and a lot of stuff that i finished actually and then i also started reading a lot of manga again because um I have to take the metro a lot here and when I'm on the metro like the subway I'll just read some manga and it's been really good for me because I kind of missed reading manga and I haven't read it for such a long time and since Kitakon ended and I came back here the first thing that I did was on my flight I started reading manga again and then when I got here I just continued it so that is really good for me <laughs> and also I mean I guess maybe for you guys because um, I have some interesting topics or like stuff to recommend you so that leads me to what I am planning to do so I am planning to do a monthly favorites so I have done this in the past but it was called something else it was also like lazy days or something like that and then I just told you what I did the whole week or month I think it was per week that one I'm not gonna do it per week because uh, I don't have that much time to do all of those things but I will do it monthly and now since this month is almost over, September, I will do a September favorites and I will tell you what I've been watching anime wise because I have been watching a lot of classics that you guys will like. Same goes for manga, what I have been reading because I also want to update you guys on that. And then my favorite games that basically came out or that I've played in that month as well. And then maybe sometimes I will put in like some favorite albums or something like that if there is something that really stands out and I want to share I will do that too so that is my plan for uh, soon <laughs> that is gonna come out really soon of course the season like summer season when it comes to the anime um, has ended people are already like looking into what they're gonna watch for the fall season basically I will let you guys know what I am going to watch in fall so that will be a separate video and then I will do a summer uh, anime roundup because I did watch quite a lot but then again also a lot of stuff I ended up not watching because of reasons or I dropped it because of some reason so I kind of want to share it with you guys why uh, I dropped or didn't watch some things and also I want to tell you my thoughts on the stuff I did finish from this season. As you can see I am going to be a lot more active on YouTube again the reason is that or a computer right now or desktop is not good enough to stream for me at the moment it is good to like record game footage or like other footage and then edit it it's fine enough for that but it, when it comes to streaming like the twitch streams that I used to do that is not really possible at the moment we need a new graphics card for sure if you want to do that so we are looking into that but because of like the moving and all that stuff we don't really have that much money to buy a new computer or like a new graphics card at the moment so that will take a while now but when it happens i will let you guys know when it comes to like twitch and like the games i used to play I know I didn't finish Dream Daddy because I was still in Belgium when I was streaming that. People know that Lady Killer in a Bind I am actually putting on my YouTube now with Ebby. I still have a lot of footage and 
Lady Killer in a Bind, I will keep putting on YouTube. I want to put more gaming footage on my YouTube instead of streaming it on Twitch because I won't have it, I don't have I cannot do it like it's not possible so I am planning to play Life is Strange the new Life is Strange game because the first one was one of my favorites and I love 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 that game and I love how it is and I love that there's shocking moments all that stuff um, obviously this one is a bit different but I really want to play it and record it for you guys so I did purchase it and speaking of Dream Daddy that I mentioned before for some reason I don't know if it's because of Korea but I cannot download Dream Daddy on this desktop I don't know why because it works perfectly fine on my laptop, but it doesn't want to download on this PC. It says it's not possible to download. But any other game, like Live is Strange and stuff, I can download. So I'm not sure if this game is allowed in Korea. I'm not, I, I have no idea, but I thought that was really weird. Dream Daddy, I want to record later, but I want to start over again because I don't even remember where I left off last time and a lot of people missed the streams so I just want to record it on my own maybe with someone else uh, who can do the voices with me and then I will upload that to YouTube and Twitch as well. Don't worry it's not only gonna be gaming stuff on my channel I'm still gonna talk about anime and manga because I do am um, more active when it comes to anime and manga right now and of course also there's gonna be more videos about Korea. So the next two that I, no, next three that I have planned is the new house tour of the new home that we have here. But the thing is I'm waiting for our kitchen table to arrive. So it is like complete and then I will make the video and uh, the other two videos that I want to make. One, everything that I like about Korea, like or love about Korea and then the second one is everything that I hate or dislike about Korea. So I think that might be interesting for you guys to see. And then I will have to come up with new topics to talk about when it comes to Korea. That is uh, basically it. It is quite a lot. I didn't think the video would be this long, so I'm sorry. But <laughs> I did need to update you guys. I also need to tell you, you can still uh, join the Discord because the Discord is where I post all of my updates. I post what videos I'm planning, what I'm doing. You can give me some recommendations for anime and manga and games and all that stuff, but also for videos. So if you have any recommendations for videos or if you just want to chat or anything like that, please feel free to join the Discord. That will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and have a good day. <laughs> Bye.